Seventh grade TCAP practice test. Question number 64. Some of you may see this question and just freak out. It's got a bunch of fractions in it. That's scary, right? Not really. Um, I'm going to use the method in my classroom that I would use to solve this. First off, I'm going to look where the I'm going to mark where the variable is. The first thing I always do when I try to solve an equation or inequality is to draw a line down the inequality or the equal sign if it's an equation. Now, we have what's called parties over here because I've got a constant term on the left side, which would be that minus two-thirds thing, and then I've got a variable term. Uh, so the negative one-half r business. The thing I need to think about now is parties over would be at the end of the party I have friends and then I have friends of friends. Well I'm the r so I'm gonna keep my friends close so that negative one-half is gonna stick around until I can get rid of that minus two-thirds. And that's what it says. This is negative one-half r minus two-thirds. To get rid of minus two-thirds I need to do the opposite. So if I have minus two-thirds I need to use plus two-thirds. So I'm gonna type or I'm gonna go ahead and add two-thirds here I'm going to add two-thirds here as well. Now, mark that out. And then you can just, if you have a calculator, type in one-sixth and then plus two-thirds. And if you have the TI-30X as the A, B, C button, it's on the third row down, the second one from the left. And you end up getting five over six. What I didn't use, I need to bring down. Now it's the finish it stage. Uh, that r is touching that negative one half. To get rid of times, I need to do the opposite of times and divide. When they're touching, by the way, that means multiply. If you have hamsters, you have boys and girls, and they're touching, they're multiplying because they'll make babies. So anyway, in this case, we are multiplying, so we need to get rid of multiply, so we're going to divide. I'm going to divide by negative one half. Now remember before, it sort of looked like we changed the sign because we had this minus two-thirds and down below it, it's plus. But we're not changing the sign of anything. We're doing the opposite operation. The opposite of mo minus is adding. So when we're doing multiplying, we need to do division. You don't do negative division. That's weird. You just keep the sign if you multiply or divide. You don't because you, you, you're not really changing it when you're, multi you're adding or subtracting. Anywho. Uh, when I do 5, 6, by the way, these cancel out, this R drops down. Then I do 5 over 6 divided by negative 1 over 2, and it gives me um, negative 1 and 2 thirds. And if you want to change that to a mixed number, it will give you negative 5 thirds. The other thing we have to think about, we're almost done. The other thing we have to think about, if you multiply... or divide by a negative in the last step flip the inequality over The reason that you do that, by the way, is because when you multiply or divide by a negative, you're taking the uh, variable itself. So in this case, the r was positive. So it was almost like it was facing one direction. If you can picture yourself facing one part of your room, whatever room you're in right now, uh, sit one direction. Now think, what side is the door on? Well, in my case, I'm standing in my classroom, so the door is on my right. If I change direction and I face the opposite wall, the door is now on my left. So what used to be greater than me because it was on the right is now less than me because it's on my left. So I need to change that inequality if I multiply or divide by negative in that last step. So what used to look like it did before, now it looks like r is greater than negative 5 thirds. So the answer to number 64 is f. But if you can get that part worked out, you are ready to roll.